How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Alpha Pure Sine Wave 1500 watt inverter and it uses 12 volts. Today I'm going to do various tests that's not shown on the Amazon listing. This includes max wattage to see if it can handle 1500 watts, the standby power because you don't want it to drain your batteries, and also the turn on behavior and you'll see why this is important later. First off, their inverters don't come with the battery cables. You can buy their branded ones which comes in one, two, or three foot sections. I got a pair of Alpha three foot battery cables. The battery lugs holes are three eighths of an inch in diameter. They are two gauge, 600 volt, 200 C, and silicone rubber cables. The silicone actually makes it very bendable and it's actually an improvement over the typical plastic kinds. The battery input terminals are on top of each other. You have the exhaust fans here. In order to avoid the exhaust fans, you need to put your battery cables a little offset high like this and just attach the twist knob on this. It does not come with an easy place to ground this thing. So if you want to ground, you're going to have to unscrew one of these and ground it from here. I have a wattage and current sense resistor attached to this battery and we can turn it on. This is the battery voltage. My meter here reads somewhat close, 13.1 volts. It's consuming zero amps because we don't have anything connected. There's nothing connected to the two USB ports either. And the standby power is 4.32 watts. If you're not using it, it's advisable to just turn it off every time and we get zero watts. I have a 1500 watt heater here. Let's see how it behaves when we turn it on. It's gonna ramp up. Coming out of the battery is closer to 100 amps. That equates to 1.28 kilowatts. So pretty close to the limit of this thing. I have another tiny heater here to push things over. It's rated at 400 watts at room temperature. So we can plug this thing in. It's over now, 1.6 kilowatt. This thing is starting to beep. It's complaining it's over wattage. It's two kilowatts now. Okay, now it shuts off. It doesn't like that. So I got to turn it off, kind of reset it and then turn it back on. This heater is still on. So then it continues doing its thing. 1.3 kilowatts. I do enjoy the AC voltage readout, the amp readout and the battery voltage readout. I would enjoy it even more if it has a wattage readout because you can't always just multiply this in your head. For the USB ports, I noticed it's just a little bit tilted. However, it does still fit your USB plugs just fine. My power bank is capable of drawing more than 2.1 amps. So it's topping out at eight watts. Let's try the other plug. And it's also topping out at eight watts. I have my scope connected to neutral and line one. Neutral is here, line one is here. And I'll turn on the inverter. You can see it develops an AC waveform. The peak to peak measured at 334 volts. It's 112 volt RMS, 60.1 Hertz, as long as it's not in little steps. This is a pure sine wave inverter. And I have my heater here. I can turn it on to see how that affects the output waveform. It shouldn't. So let me turn it on. It's running at 10 amps out of the AC. The waveform, it's fairly uniform. It's one second per division. Look what happens when I turn it off. It goes to zero fairly quickly, but when I turn it back on, there's a blip here and over the period of about three seconds or so, it slowly ramps up from zero volt to maximum voltage. So this not exactly 110 volt RMS would appear somewhat like a brownout, but it's a very quick one. It's not continuously running your stuff at reduced voltage. So this may or may not affect your sensitive electronics. Now, if I don't have a load connected and then I turn it off, the output tends to fade away rather than drop right to zero. Not too big a problem over here. It's after three tenths of a second. Overall, it does what it's supposed to do. It is a pure sine wave inverter. I got eight watts output out of the USB ports rather than the stated 11 watts. The fans actually don't run until it's really hot, which is a good thing to minimize noise. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.